Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to be a tutorial on um, actually uh, blurring out more than one object in uh, Adobe Premiere Elements, uh, it's version 15. reason I'm doing this is uh, it came up where I wanted to do it in a video, uh, I couldn't figure it out. I asked uh, the chat text port and they told me I had to upgrade to the pro version was the only way to do it. And then after messing around with it for a while I found out that I actually could do it. So um, I didn't see any videos on it, uh, so I figured I would make one. I mean there's plenty on how to do one thing but not I didn't see anything on doing multiple. So what I've got here uh, to start with is this video and go ahead and play it real quick here. It's just a quick video of uh, somebody cloned here. Alright now I just want to blur it. You know, it's me cloned of course. So I want to just actually blur the uh, faces out. So there's a couple of ways to do this, and uh, just drop this right here. So this way, you'll notice that it is blurred. See the right side, the right person over here is blurred good, and you'll notice the person on the left. It's really, uh, especially when it when the frame comes in, when it comes into frame here, it's real blocky. Now I did this one using, uh, you know, if you go to your uh, assets, new item, and do an adjustment layer, and then you just you know size it to what you need and put your effect in there, and it actually turns it blocky. Where you notice the other one is not blocky. Uh, the one that's not blocky was actually done with an effects mask. So uh, what you want to do then is use an effects mask and not use the adjustment layer unless you don't care that it looks blocky. So you know license plates or something that's probably fine using the adjustment layers. Yeah, uh, faces. I kind of like the uh, you know the cleaner, rounded look with the guy on the right there. So you can do you. What you have to, what you have to do is you have to actually do uh, multiple effects masks. And when you do these, I'll show you uh, one more example here. Uh, this one is actually cloned, and I actually just drug the the uh, adjustment mask to where I needed it instead of actually uh, you know scrubbing it. To make it smaller so they're actually out of sync. So if you actually watch the guy on the left here, uh, I did the blur on the right first and then I added the adjustment mask or the uh, effects mask to the guy on the left and what you'll notice if you look in the actual blur they're out of sync and you'll actually see you know the person actually walk through the frame right there. Probably not a huge deal but uh, not, not what I wanted. So the fix on this, um, go ahead and just do a uh, you one more here that's actually done correctly. So what we're actually looking for is this, where the guy on the right's blurred out, the guy on the left tracks in, is blurred out. Nobody walking through the middle of it or anything this time because it's not out of sync. And then both of them just walking off and it follows. Now I'm not going to really go over the uh, making it move and all that or, because I'm, I'm sure if you're at this stage you know how to do that plus there's plenty of videos already showing that. So I'm going to just do a new project here. Go ahead and add our uh, video. Okay, I'm just going to drop it down to our timeline here. And first thing I'm going to do, um, there's no audio on this, but for some reason there's an audio track, so I'm just going to get rid of the uh, audio. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to right click it, go to clip, and we're going to do an effects mask. I'm going to apply that. And we're going to move our effects mask over, get it resized so it fits my head here. All right, good enough. And to our effects, and we're going to use a uh, Gaussian or Gaussian or blur. I'm not sure how you say it, but the uh, this one. Drop it on there. And 35 seems like a good number for this kind of thing. And then uh, the next step now is to do your keyframes. And uh, I'm just going to assume that you know how to do this. If not, there is plenty of videos on it. So um, I'm going to do this and just fast forward through it. Now, next thing I'm going to do 
is ungroup these and then go ahead and just select just my mask and not going to use the cut tool I'm going to actually uh, do the uh, scrub trim here and we'll render it all right so now what we've got is our guy on the right has his face blurred out and should follow him off screen there and um, All right, so now we got to take care of the guy on the left. So what we're going to do is right-click our mask, copy, and then we're just going to go past our timeline and Control V, and that copies all of our keyframes and everything too, which you see up here, which uh, we're not going to want. But I'm going to move this over here. Zoom in a tad, and now I just need to locate the part where this guy, well actually the first thing I need to do, I'm going to actually shut off video 2 for now, so now it's video 3, so I can actually get my mask, and it's close to the right size here, but I need to, uh, I'm going to shut off the keyframe, delete them all, because I'm going to be doing new ones, but now I can actually just move it, I'm going to need it somewhere over here, and I'm going to go forward till my head enters the frame right there and I'm gonna shrink this for right now put it where I need it now this is important here you don't want to actually use the cut tool on this you want to actually just scrub it otherwise you want to put that out of sync problem which is not what we want and um, so now I'm gonna go back to our mask turn keyframes back on Oops, on the mask here, keyframes, and so this will be our first keyframe right here, and then I'm just going to be clicking forward frame by frame, and I'm going to have to be moving this and actually making it bigger, so I'll do this uh, on fast forward here, I'll be right back. All right, well, I forgot to uh, scrub it out to where I need it, so um, you don't want to actually drag it and move it. You want to actually just stretch it out. All right, and so uh, now I've uh, got it stretched out where I need it. I've turned on video 2 again and rendered it, so now when we play it, I uh, should have... Uh, two faces blurred out or two objects you know if you wanted to do more objects you would just basically same thing just copy the adjustment layer and move it up just remember not to drag and move it you want to stretch it you know just expand it and contract it you don't want to uh, you don't want to drag it you don't want to cut it otherwise you just want to be out of sync trouble but uh, that's uh, how I figured out how to do this uh, the other way I thought of um, if you had a lot of stuff maybe a little time consuming but just doing you know you do the first object produce the video and then pull it back up that'll already be covered up do the second object produce the video and so on and so forth uh, that seems like kind of a pain in the ass that this seems a little bit e easier and less time consuming but uh, I'm no expert at this if anybody's got a better way or a better video that I couldn't find uh, you know feel free to call me names in true YouTube fashion and then just uh, you know, link it in the comments and uh, that will do it for this video and uh, we'll talk to everybody later